guys, so I'm just doing a quick little get ready with me video today. I'm actually going to be stepping out the house soon, so I thought, why not film me getting ready, right? Well, I don't really know what I'm going to do with my makeup today. I think I'm going to do something a little bit on the bronze side, neutrals, warm brown colors, the usual boring stuff, but um, yeah, so we'll see where this goes. We have moisturizer on my face, and I did my brows earlier because I went to the gym and I never leave my house without my brows. So I did my brows earlier, but now I have to do my makeup, so I'm thinking I'm going to go a little bit bronze today. But I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I've had this bottle forever. They already changed up their packaging for this, um, but I am going to wait till I use this one up before I buy another one. Uh, this one's pretty much almost gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with this. I'm going to apply a bone colored eyeshadow to all over my lid, and this is the Viviart a uh, neutral matte palette and I'm going to use the color this color right here next to the white um, this is a really expensive palette for all for it being all neutral shades um, it's about $80 pre-tax so I got this as a Christmas present for my brother um, and it's a really really nice palette it's really really pigmented and it blends nicely um, and I, I really love it but it's not necessary for an $80 neutral palette, if you know what I mean. Um, Kat Von D's Shea Light Eye Palette is really pretty, and it's only like 40 something dollars, so um, I would get that because it has basically almost all the same colors. I'm going to put this one away because I know a lot of people don't have this palette, so I'm not going to use this palette for the whole video. I'm going to use my MAC palette that I customized. These are basically all my shades that I just can't live without. So I have a lot of colors here and I love all these colors. I'm going to be using the color Saddle by MAC and as you can see I love this color a lot. I use it a ton. And I'm going to take my MAC 220, 224 brush and I'm just going to apply this into my crease. I'm going to take the color Brown Script, and this basically is just like a reddish brown color. I feel like a lot of brands have this type of color. Um, I know Anastasia has this color. I forgot what the name is called. But Desi Perkins uses it a lot in her videos. Oh, and I'm using a MAC 217 brush. I'm just going to apply that right on the outer V lower crease area just to add some warmth and I'm going to go back in with my MAC 224 brush and blend it out a little bit. I feel like it's getting a little crazy there. So I'm going to go in with the color Supermodel from ColourPop and this is like a champagne-y um, champagne beige color. It's really pretty. It has a nice metallic sheen to it. And I'm just going to take any synthetic brush and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. I'm going to use the color Swiss Chocolate by MAC and I'm just going to add that to the very outer V of my eye because I just want to add some kind of depth in the corner.
take a little bit more of the saddle and I'm just gonna blend out a little bit more my um, the eyeshadow that we did a little bit earlier. I'm just gonna blend it out just a tad bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna just highlight my brow bone a little bit. I'm telling you, this look is very, very easy, so it's gonna go by pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna use Shroom by MAC because that's basically the color that I always use to highlight my brow bone. And I'm just gonna hi highlight the very arch and then blend that down a little bit. I have crazy baby hairs that are always in the front right here and it drives me nuts. I can't stand it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then add some mascara and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a wing for this. I'm thinking I might not do a wing. But we'll see. So anyways, how was everybody's New Year's Eve, holidays, Christmas? I can't believe that we're in six 2016 already it's so it went by so fast last year it's crazy when you think about it so one of my new year's resolutions was to live healthier and to be the healthiest i could be um so i've been trying to drink a ton of water i've been basically drinking um, a liter every day. I'm trying to bump this up to two or three liters every day so that I'm drinking at least a gallon of water every single day, but it's, it's really, really hard. And I thought that I used to drink like a lot of water normally, but I don't drink as much water as I thought I did. So I'm just trying to drink more water, which is good for you, but you know, it's a hard thing to do. I'm probably not going to do any eyeliner with this look because I need to get out of here. And um, I'm just gonna pop on some lashes now that we have our mascara on and it's kind of dry. And I'm gonna use my 120 Demi Wispies. This is what I always use. This is my go-to eyelashes. Basically, I don't wanna think about how eyelashes are gonna look on me. I just run to my 120 Demi's from Ardell and this is basically the only eyelash that I use for my every, every day. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this duo glue. Duo does have like a glue where it looks like this and it comes with like a wand applicator like the House of Lashes. Um, House of Lashes glue is definitely a million times better than this duo glue but I just use this one right now because it's what I have and it's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so now that we have our lashes on, I can move on to my face for a second. Um, which, I need to move on to my face for a second. As you can see, I've had a pretty stressful week. I have a little friend over here that's not going away. So, we need to cover up that little friend. So I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Um, I use this all the time. I'm basically running out of this NC42 color, so I need to refill that ASAP. So basically, I just mix NC42 and NC35 together because there is no NC40 in this line of foundation for MAC. And that's the color that I am right now. So I'm just going to mix the two together to get my perfect shape. And I'm just going to be applying that with my damp Real Technique sponge. And I finally got a new one the other day. I'm so happy. Really good about this foundation is that it doubles up as a concealer so it gives really full coverage and you really don't have to apply too much which is what I like so then you're not all cake facey but you still get the coverage that you need and in the summertime it's really good because it's waterproof and while you're sweating because obviously in the summer it's really hot it still manages to stay on your skin it just doesn't fall off with 
So now I'm just gonna move on to concealer and I'm using MAC Pro Longwear NW30. And I've been using this concealer a lot lately because, I don't know, I have been to just really like the formula. I've always loved the Pro Longwear concealer formula, um, but I was using the Maybelline Age Rewind and um, it was getting too bright for me so I switched up my concealer, my under eye concealer, and I've just been pretty much obsessed with this one since I started using it again. So this is what I'm using today. And you'll probably see me use this for a while because I am like a creature of habit. So once I start and I love it, I pretty much use it all the time. So now I'm taking my Maybelline Age Rewind and I'm just going to use this to highlight the rest of my face, just a bit. I'm just going to blend it out. Now to set, I swear I do this a million times in the video, but you know I set my face or actually my under eye and highlighted areas with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Love this stuff, it's so amazing. It's so finely milled and it just does a really, really beautiful job at setting your makeup, so. And now to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to use the MAC Sheer Pressed Powder in NC40. And I'm just going to lightly dust this all over my face. And I'm going to use my MAC 137 brush. It's a really fluffy brush and it gives just the lightest coverage. So I like using that to lightly set my face. And it's super soft. I'm just going to set my makeup. I'm going to bronze my face, of course, using MAC Give Me Sun. I don't know why anyone would think that I would use anything else. This is my holy grail bronzer. This is what I use all the time. You will continue to see me use this a million times in my videos. I may, I feel like I should just skip this part because I feel like everybody knows that I'm going to use this. So I don't know why I even continue to show this anymore. But I'm using my MAC 135 brush and I love this brush. It's perfect for bronzing. Um, and it's perfect for contour because as it's big and it's wide, but it's fluffy and it has like a flat. It's almost flat, but it's just perfect for bronzing. So bronzing and contouring because it just blends everything out nicely. Ooh, look at that. See how beautiful that blend is. So now that my face is bronzed, I'm going to move on back to my eyes and I'm going to use Swiss Chocolate again and a flat shader brush. No, this is a smudger brush, I'm sorry. I'm going to use a smudger brush and I'm just going to apply that on the very bottom lash line, really tight to the lash line. And I'm just going to just apply that just to add some color down there. Now that I have shaded my bottom lash line, I'm just going to add some Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and I have to say, I really do really, really like this mascara. It's a really, really nice mascara to have. So for blush, I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Love Flush Blush Palette. I haven't even used it yet, so I'm so excited. I get to use it finally. I think I'm going to dip into Baby Love here. It's like this... Um, pinky brown color, so I'm going to use that. It looks the most natural. It's really cool. Moving on to highlight. I'm going to lightly, I'm not going to go too crazy with the highlight. I know, right? Who doesn't go crazy with the highlight? And I'm going to use my Anastasia H23 and the Anastasia So Hollywood Highlighter. I'm just going to lightly put that on the areas that I want. A little bit of highlight to pull through. I'm going to add a little bit to my nose. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using my MAC Edge to Edge Pencil. I'm just going to line 
my lip with that. And now I'm going to take the color. I just got this yesterday. It's the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Lady Be Good. Um, I wasn't too impressed with the nudes that they had. A lot of the nudes had like peachy undertones to it or it was, like too light. It didn't have a lot of brownie nudes that I like or like pinky nudes even. So this was the one that had the least amount of peachy tones in it. So I picked it. So I'm going to try it here. See how I like it. I'm just going to add this. To the center I think I'm going to add one more thing before I pretty much say the look is done I'm going to add just a little bit of mylar on the inner corner of my eye here with a pencil brush just to add a little bit of brightness. I feel like I've been looking a little tired lately. I did have a little bit of a rough week so I need to brighten up those eyes a little bit more. And then now the look is complete. So that is the completed look. Um, this is my quick little get ready with me video. Um, I'm ready to run my errands now. I can go conquer the world now that I have my face on. So um, yeah, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys want to see next and give me any ideas and uh, leave me a comment. Um, if you did like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And if you guys want to know when I post up my new videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so that you know and you get a notification right when I post up these videos. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video. Take care.